Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Craig, this is Foxy. And thanks for stopping by. So today's video, we're gonna talk about inline preamps for your microphone. We're gonna talk about three different microphone inline preamps. We're gonna talk about the Cloud Lifter, the Mic Booster CT1, and the Maneo or Man Maneo inline microphone preamp as well. And these all come in at three different costs, some affordable, some a little more expensive. With that being said, let's get started. So what is the purpose of an inline microphone preamp? Well, the idea behind that is to give your signal a clean boost without bringing all that nastiness in as well that you hear that, that noise in the background and so forth. Um, it can also be used when you have a, uh, a long cable. Maybe you got a 30 foot cable coming from your microphone back to the mixer. Um, that would also give you power, uh, increase your, your actual gain on your signal uh, that's going to the mixer. And for example, the ones we're going to talk about today increase from 25 to 28 dB, depending on which ones we're talking about. And we're going to do some, this is what it sounds like without, then with, and we'll go through the three different ones, and of course the cost point. Now, do you actually need one? Well, if you have a really good mixer, and you're not talking about a significant length in cable from your microphone to your mixer, then you may not. But it all depends on the quality of your mixer. Um, for example, um, the one I'm using right now, which is the uh, Behringer Xenix Q1202 USB, um, I found that I definitely like to have a, a microphone preamp uh, added within the signal chain. Um, I've also used it on all my music and recordings. Anything that's doing uh, music, vocal recording, I do recommend it. I think they help in a lot of different ways uh, to keep you from trying to use the high end of your preamp that comes with your mixer. I just find that it works very well for me. So for myself, yes, I use... Um, actually the cloud lifter on, on all my uh, recordings that I've done as far as all my music recordings. Um, I just added it to my signal chain going forward, uh, which it is not in the signal chain right now. So right now you're listening to it without using an inline preamp. I have my gain up to about plus 30 right now and plus 12 on my preamp. So that's what I'm using right now just to get enough volume to, you know, talk to you right now. Um, some of the things that you want to think about, one is if you have a condenser mic, you do not need a, a, um, a inline preamp. So what are the three that we're going to talk about? So I've got them right here and let's open them up and take a look. And you can see the three different ones based on size, information, and price point. So let me get these open here. Now, I have not. The only one I've tried out is the Cloud Lifter. That's the only one I've used so far. And here's the, uh, <laughs> which I can't pronounce, the... Uh, Manayo or Maneo, Maneo. If anybody knows how to say it, maybe they can put it in phonetically below uh, what you think it is. Maneo. And then, of course, we have the uh, the Mic Booster CT1, which there we go. And then, of course the cloud lifter and the cloud lifter is the one that I've been using I have uh, one on both of my well not right now on this one but I have 
one on my other microphones in my other studio where I do all the music recording. Um, and I also keep one normally over here, but I have it disconnected right now so that you can see what it's like without it. Now, what are the difference in these? Well, first of all, there's a price point comparison. The Cloud Lifter runs about $149 at the time of taping, and that's based on Sweetwater, which I do have a link below. Um, we also have the, um, and I said, like I said, $149 for this one. The, um, the Booster CT1, which we have right here, uh, which had a lot of great reviews on it, is $45. And I have a link to it um, in the description below. And then this one here. And then the Maneo. Maneo? I think that's how it's pronounced. Maneo. Um, this one is $38. And uh, this one has the highest rated dB, which is 28 dB. And the other two come in at just above 25 dB increase. Now, what makes these so special is these inline preamps are supposed to give clean gain and not give you all that background distortion when you pump up the gain and so forth. Um, they're supposed to make a big difference and make your microphone sound better. Now, are they worth it? I absolutely think they are. Now, I understand that this SM7B ran for about $400 and then another $150 bucks for the cloud lifter. I definitely noticed the difference, and I liked it a lot. But with that being said, I think it's time for us to turn around and do some tests and see what you think and uh, let you get your own conclusion as to which one you think sounds better. So let's get started. All right, here we go without anything like we did at the beginning. Right now I'm using the preamp off of the uh, my mixer and you can see and tell test one, two, three, four, test one, two, test, 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 test. This is the Maneo, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. This is the Mic Booster CT1, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Again, Mic Booster CT1. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is the cloud lifter. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Again, this is the cloud lifter. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. So my final thoughts, um, whether or not you need this inline preamp for your microphone is up to one, the mixer or the device that you're using, how good the preamp is on that uh, device, and also whether or not you have extended cable that you have extra length of cable, so you need a little extra power um, for your microphone. Um, also, remember that you do need phantom power to turn around and power these devices. So looking at the three different ones and what I prefer. Um, so we'll start off with the cloud lifter. The cloud lifter overall um, is built strong. And to me, my hearing sounds fantastic. Um, the gain that you get off of it, the 25 dB, seems to be nice and clear and clean, and I'm not picking up any background noise, static, or whatever. I'm not getting anything from it. Um, and like I've said in the past, I've had this for about, uh, some of these for about eight years, and I use them in my recording studio where I do my music and record all the different songs that I write and play. Um, 
The next one I'll talk about is the uh, the Booster CT1. Um, it feels very strong. It it's made solid. It feels like a, a, a quality um, device. I definitely thought the sound was the same to me as the Cloud Lifter. The advantage. $149 for this one, $45 from this one. And uh, I got these both from Sweetwater, and I did include links below to them, to Sweetwater, and the links to Toman as well. Um, the other one, the Maneo, I noticed that it does have three extra dB of gain, and I could hear, obviously, the difference because I didn't make any changes on my... Um, Amp, my uh, mixer back there when I was doing the tests between the different ones. Um, it is lighter. It doesn't feel as well made as the other two. Um, it's a lot lighter. There's a, there's a big difference between the two. This one's $38. This one's $45. Uh, based on what I'm feeling from them, my guess is this is a better made product. Um, there is a difference in price, but it's it's negligible at, at you know eight bucks uh, difference or seven bucks, excuse me, seven dollars difference. Um, either way, I think they're good to go. So it, it it comes down to what you need. Is your mixer good enough? Um, and the preamp that's that's involved in your mixer. And also, do you need the extra 30 feet? Do you have about 30 feet of cable coming from your microphone? I mean, it's it all depends on those things. So with that being said, uh, if you felt the video was informative and gave you good information pertaining to these inline uh, preamps for your microphone, uh, please, if you would, give a like below. If you haven't subscribed, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. Uh, just so you're aware, uh, once we get the number of subscriber subscribers we need to monetize and start getting sponsors, all that money is going to be going to Guardian Angels Medical Service Dogs. And this is in an effort to raise money for medical service dogs for veterans. Each service dog, like Foxy here, she is my medical service dog that I got at no cost to myself uh, for their training and everything about them is $29,000 per dog. And Guardian Angels has given out close to 400 dogs out to veterans, uh, first responders, and some school children from the Sandy Hook um, event um, at no cost to these people. So... Uh, with that being said, if you would subscribe, we'd greatly appreciate it. And until the next time, take care.